All right, Fishaholic fam, well, welcome back to another episode. Uh, today, I am down here in the Florida Keys with my good buddy, Matt. Uh, he came down to Florida to visit for a few days and uh, we're offloading my kayak right now. And then he's gonna make a run and get his kayak. And uh, well, a, a rental kayak that's from a guy that uh, I guess lives like up the street and then he's gonna come here and we're gonna get on some canals and hopefully get on some tarpon. And um, we fished last night and caught some fun sized tarpon and snook, uh, which was pretty cool. And we're also gonna fish again tonight and then head back. But uh, we were up in Palm City where I live and fished for the last like three or four days and it was pretty <laughs> brutal. It was like one nice fish a day. And fortunately enough, you know, while I was like working really hard to catch mullet, Matt was throwing a popper and he caught uh, these uh, two nice tarpon or he well, had one, both on landed one that we got both side. But, um, you know, it was so cool just to see those fish uh, bust up on his popper. So that was your first like big tarpon that you've ever landed, yeah. which was really cool. But uh, now we want to get on to tarpon bite and uh, we're going to get out of there and just uh, make a day of it. So stay tuned. We're going to get the kayaks loaded and I'll see you guys on the water. underway just saw a tarpon bust right there where that ring is and it was actually kind of cool on this canal just a second ago I saw a manatee just chilling out here and uh, that was the first time I've seen a manatee back in here but uh, we're packing a little bit different than the last time I was here I mean we do have the voodoo shrimps I also have three dozen live shrimp but I also have this popper tied in, tied on. This is the Dark Matter Fishaholic Pulsar popper. And after Matt caught some of his big tarpon on a popper, I'm kind of intrigued to see if we can get some fun sized tarpon on top water. But also I am packing the fly rod right now because in one of my last tarpon videos, quite a few of you guys commented, why don't I toss a fly around? So that's like partially one of our goals today is to get a tarpon on the fly rod. Another one just popped right there. There's the back of the manatee. See him chilling there? It's kind of cool. So I'm tossing around a little clouser to start because it has a little bit of weight on it so it'll sink it down because the water in this canal is relatively deep right in this section like 10 to 15 feet and even though the you know tarpon are coming up and busting on the top i think they come up and they bust and then they drop down a few feet all right well they've been finicky matt got his rental kayak he's joining me now and uh we're seeing them pop but we just got to get them to bite now all right, I'm gonna try putting the fly rod away for a little bit. See if we can just get the skunk out of the kayak with uh, an artificial or a live shrimp. Just saw a, a few bust right in here. There's one. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Smallest tarpon I think I've ever caught out of here. Let's just say basically like a big herring. <laughs> Cool. We got the skunk out of the kayak and I'm noticing the water temp is 78 here where the first canal we hit 
it was like 76, you know, like hovering, well actually hovering between like 75 and 76. And that could be the slight difference between fish feeding and not feeding. So uh, maybe as we get a little bit closer into the afternoon, um, the other canal will warm up a little bit, then we'll go there and uh, see if we can get them, those other tarpon to bite because they were a lot bigger than uh, that first one, but uh, still super fun, especially on the light tackle. And uh, we'll just, you know, see what happens as the day progresses and hopefully we can get one on the fly. And then also we'll probably experiment with uh, the live shrimp and uh, just see what happens. Now. Oh, just got hit again. Oh, got nailed again. Back-to-back -back casts. They must be real tiny ones. They probably can barely eat this thing. I'm gonna put this rod down, pick back up the fly rod. Nothing on the fly. I think they're spooked, so we should move and then come back. There was one. So we came up this canal that we haven't fished yet. And this is the weediest of all the canals, but there are fish in here, as you just saw. They're busting pretty good back there. Got them. Decent one on the voodoo. Much bigger, bigger than our first one. Oh my gosh. Can we call that as a catch? He literally landed on the kayak. <laughs> oh man. Show the folks at home what you got there. Nice, a little bit bigger than my first one, a little smaller than the second one I just had. But nice, nailed the shrimp. Heck awesome. yeah. That's why it's a lifesaver having the live shrimp. There's some right there. Oh, another one over there. Another one there. Oh man, they are popping right now. This is kind of cool with this grass because you got to just cast it into a hole and kind of jiggle it there and hope for the best. All right, well, they're being super finicky in this canal. We only got two bites in here and uh, they were popping all around us, but uh, that's just how they feed in here. But um, you know, there could be all of a sudden like one hour where like every tarpon in here turns on and uh, that's what like I'm anticipating. So I'm gonna take a little water break and I guess hop uh, back to the second canal or the first canal that we were at and uh, see if they're gonna chew. Oh, look at that little blitz right there. Oh my gosh. We gotta get one here, dude. Oh, I'm in the money. There had to be at least like 20 or 30 of them right here. There he is. Oh boy. I don't want to bang this person's boat. And I want to catch the fish. Nice. It's a decent one. We're definitely gonna hit <laughs> bumper kayaks. Get out of 
Yeah, you're good. Ooh, there he goes. <laughs> oh, that never gets old. This one really is putting the 7.6 dark matter fishaholic inshore rod to the test. Really fun light tackle stuff. And I'm just using the 4,000 dial or citate with 10 pound green moss power pro braid and a 30 pound floral leader. Oh, this one doesn't want to give up. It's all charged up. Whew. There we go. <laughs> In the net. There he is, voodoo right in the corner of the mouth. Perfect hook set. They're just such an awesome fish. Another two that uh, Matt caught a couple days ago. <laughs> they were like 80 to 100 pounds. That's when you're in for a real epic battle with like a dragon. A little freight up there, so I'm gonna probably retie and get back on them. All right, well, it's been extremely slow since we caught that last tarp, and it's probably been about an hour or so. So I'm switching to the live shrimp on a little 2 a mustad circle hook, and I'm gonna see if I can get a bite on this. Oh my gosh, these fish are busting right where I threw that shrimp and we're not getting bit. What? Look at this, this is crazy. How can I not get a bite right now? This has kind of been the norm for the last uh, bit of time. Oh, there he was. Let's try it again. There he is. Woo, yeah. It's harping number four, baby. And this is why I always come to this spot with some live shrimp. Perfect little tarpon. And they're still busting right in there. I wonder if we can get another back to back. I also made a little modification. I'm using 25 pound leader now instead of 30. Oh my gosh, that one nailed the shrimp on the retrieve, dude. Oh. That was epic. Woo! <laughs> oh, I love that. There's also something about this spot right here that these uh, tarpon love to eat the shrimp just a little bit more than anywhere else in the canals. In the nets. Look at that circle hook right in the corner of the mouth. Perfect. All right, well, I think uh, that is gonna be a wrap, unfortunately. It was a tough bite today, but at least uh, we caught a few, had some fun. I tried the fly rod 
as much as I could and uh, had a few good opportunities where I presented the fly right through some fish that were busting but uh, just didn't get bit so I'm gonna have to uh, save the tarpon on the fly rod for another trip or another day but I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video and uh, it's been a grind this entire trip since uh, Matt has come down to visit me but uh, we fish hard and at least we were able to uh, catch some decent fish and uh, we're gonna get out of here and uh, actually uh, you know get some dinner and then get ready for a night bite that was good last night and I'm hoping that uh, it's gonna be good tonight and I actually have a little extra time to fish so if I catch anything after this outro I will show it to you guys uh, you know Matt's gonna load his kayak up bring it back to the rental place and then come back and then I'm gonna load my kayak up but yeah thanks so much for watching and I also have some other fishy action that I will add to the end of this video if you guys want to stick around to check that out and until the next vid like always live to fish fish to live now we got some right there. Can we get them? Uh, not with that cast. <laughs> it like hit the wind wrong and like went sh all the way to the right. That's better. So quite a few of them bust them on top. There, oh, we got bit. Got him. <laughs> right in the net. <sighs> Always a good day when you can end with a nice little tarpon like that. Alright, well if you're still tuning in, I'm going to add uh, some other fishy action uh, from a couple days ago when Matt and I were out in the Fishaholic rig. Uh, we were throwing live mullets to seawalls and uh, I got this nice fish here, so check it out. This water is at a higher level now because it's basically like around, right around high tide. You know, it'll we'll probably start going out soon, so that's why we think it'll be better right now. We're catching snook along this structure because they could be pushed up. He's in there. Mangrove is tough stuff. Look at that. Just got eight. Oh my god, dude. Just two. Just two. There was another two. Oh. All right, I don't know how we just got this fish out of the dock, but he's still on. And I just like let it go in free spool and he's all the way over by the mangroves now. Gonna have to have the net ready. I don't know what it is. It's kind of acting like a snook now. Oh, it's a donkey jack, dude. Here we go. Oh boy. I don't know how you landed them. <sighs> Thanks, man. That was intense. All right, guys, here's a closer look at this donkey jack. And uh, he's all colored up. It's so cool because he's 
way up river here and uh, I did not expect that at all from this fish. Uh, I actually saw, I think, a snook first swirl on it and then this guy just raced in there and uh, beat the snook to it. And uh, I would say it was probably about a 35 inch snook that we it's saw big like right next to this fish. Had some shoulders and, to it. And uh, I don't, again, and again, I don't I have no idea how we got this fish out from that dock. We just got lucky that he was wrapped around like one or two pilings that we could easily uh, walk the line around. But uh, yeah, such a sweet, uh, fun fight. And uh, we're already doing better than we did yesterday by just uh, catching this horse here. So I'm gonna send her on home now. <laughs>